Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for popping in. Now, today we're going to have a little catch up and we're going to look at a design for our new Lavinia challenge. So for those of you that follow, um, we have a new challenge every month. So on the first of each month and the theme this time is under the moonlight. Now, if you enter, just if you want to look at any details, go along to the Lavinia website and um, you can actually win £40 to spend on Lavinia stamps on the website, which is fabulous. I mean, think of all those goodies you can buy and um, it, the winner's chosen at random. So I thought with it being the challenge, I'd just maybe just put a little bit of inspiration together for you. And I've got to be honest, this is so easy. But I think it looks effective. And I just thought we'd use a couple of different products to add some shimmer. So if I pick the design up, you know me, I really do need a cameraman. I did ask for one for Christmas, but Santa didn't bring him. I just want to try and show you the shimmer I've got on here. You know me, I like to try and use... I'm really one for using products that I've got. So we're going to be using our pan pastel to add this shimmer. So if you want to join me, we can make a start and I'm going to use a piece of card and this is five and a half inches square. As you know, it's my preferred size and this is just multifarious card, which is fabulous for me, double sided. So do you know what? If it goes uh, pear shaped, we can turn it over. You know, nobody ever knows what's on the underside of there, do they? <laughs> now, what I'm going to do to start off with... I've got a pan pastel here, and this is a white, fine, pearl me medium. Now, I've got to be honest, with this one, and you know me, I'm always honest with you, I did drop it. Can you see? Look at that. But you know what? It's still usable, so don't ever worry if anything like that happens. And all I'm going to do with this lovely applicator is get some of my pastel. Obviously, I've got to be careful picking it up because it has, as I say... <laughs> gone a bit and I just want to where I'm going to stamp my moon I just want to give myself a bit of a, a sort of a iridescent glow and I just want to put this on first so I'm just doing a circular motion and as you can see although my pastel has um, broken up a bit I was going to say it's a bit like one of those powder compacts, but that really is showing my age when ladies used to have the, the face powder in a lovely little compact with a mirror. Anyway, I seem to show my age a lot on here, so I think I'd better stop. So I'm just creating. Oh, that's a bit worrying. That's quite a proper circle, isn't it? Don't they say you're a bit mad if you can draw a perfect circle? <laughs> well, I always knew I was a bit mad. Now, the stamp I'm going to use is this one, and it's just the moon stamp. Now, what's lovely about this, if you look at it, it's got a gap here. And I want to be mindful. I want to try and use that for, for pipping. So, you know me, I've just got my copy of paper to, to stamp on, and I'm just going to pop that to the side there. Get myself one of my uh, acrylic blocks. Now, have you got any new goodies that you got for Christmas that you're going to be using? Maybe you've got a couple of new stamps that would be perfect for this challenge. Maybe you've got some new acrylic blocks. So again, light tapping. And I'm just using the black. And as I say, I want to be mindful. I want to get that sort of... I want to get it in the middle, but I want to get that space. There, there we go, we're going to go for that. Now, as I say, I'm stamping on top of the pan pastel that I've put on. So I will just give it a nice firm press and just give it time for the ink to soak in. Because obviously if you think your pan pastel is on top of the card, so you want the ink to soak in through the pan pastel. So again, we'll give it a good... Now, I could have done my stamping first, and you're probably asking why I didn't. But if I'd have put the pastel on top, it almost, the black wouldn't have stood out. And I want it to try and look a nice, strong black. So, let's see how that looks. There we go. So, you see, if I bring that a bit closer, the black is a nice, strong black. But if I tilt it, can you see 
I'm hoping you can see we've still got that lovely pastel shimmer. Now, often this doesn't show up well on camera, but if you have a go, you'll see what I mean. Now, obviously, I've got some pastel on here. So I'm just going to, with a wet cloth, give it a wipe. Oh, and, and dry it with, look, guess what? New Year, new Inky Binky. So I decided the old one, do you know what? I wasn't going to wash it. I've actually treated myself to a new, look at this. <laughs> it's not going to stay white for long, is it? So, right, we finished with that. Isn't it funny I get so excited just because I've got a new Inky Binky? See, I'm easily pleased. What we're going to stamp next is the floral wreath. And again, let me see, can I put it on this block? Yes. So again, I'm just going to use the black. And again, lots of light tapping. So this is a nice simple, I think three stamps, that's all I'm using. And I've purposely left it without a sentiment, but I think it will be so... It's one of those cards, one of those designs that so many different sentiments would go. And I'm thinking it would make a lovely birthday card for a friend whose birthday is next month. So there you go, I could be well ahead, couldn't I, and have it in readiness. So we need to just stamp this under here. And just so it sort of mimics the shape, I'll go for that. And as you know, I love this stamp. I use this stamp so much. And it's a lovely one to practice. If you've got any new inks or pencils or, you know, colouring in things. <laughs> is, that, is that a real word? Colouring in things? Anyway, this is a lovely stamp to practice your colouring in, to add colour to it. I really should speak proper English, shouldn't I? There again, you know me by now, so you know what you get. And I just think that mirror in the shape of the moon there, for me, I love that. And then I'm going to stamp our little pippin. And I'm hoping if I just put him on there, oh, we'll just fit in that space. Now, again, remember, if you're trying to get your space right, you can use your, uh, your acetate, the printed acetate that comes with the stamps. I've just sort of had to go at winging it today. Well, I thought, I've, I've stamped it once, haven't I? I should have an idea what to do. But you know me, I never find it easy doing the same design twice. Now, I'm sorry, but I may bring my head over. So I want Pippin to sit on there, but just be looking up at the moon in that space. Now, again, is a silhouette, so we need to let the ink, but also we've got some pan pastel around the moon, haven't we? So, again, I just want to give that ink time to soak through that lovely pearly pan pastel. Now, if you've not tried pan pastels, honestly, they are beautiful. And what I try and do is add them. You know, if you're somebody who's scared of doing... Um, a whole design with pan pastels. Just add them one at a time to the designs you're already doing. I often find that's the best way to sort of introduce a product. You know, don't think it's all or nothing. If you don't want to do a whole design with your pan pastels, just add little bits. Oh, and he's stamped beautifully. And look at that, he just works so well with this with the spacing. Now, what I will do is I'm just going to give that a blot, but also what I'll do is, if you just excuse me, I'm just going to bring my heat tool, just because I don't want to smudge. So I do apologise for the noise, but I really want to make sure that's nice and dry. I don't want to smudge it. Just dry it from the back and then the card will, will flatten out. And what we'll do next, we'll add some colour around the edge and then we're going to paint our lovely berries in. Now, for around the edge, I'm going to come in with Della Blue in the elements. And I've got one of my lovely stencil brushes here. And I've got my piece of kitchen towel. And again, I always ink up on the corners. So we'll dab some off on the mat. And then 
will just ink up nicely on the corner and then turn it round come along the bottom and don't worry too much about if you're going to get brush strokes on this we're going to add water to this and honestly it'll give you such a lovely effect don't worry too much so again and I'm just pressing my card down because obviously the card can flick up in the corner. I don't know if it's ever done that with you. And I tend to use the same ink on the side because obviously it's the corners I want darker. Now let's pick this ink up from my mat. Or maybe just have a little bit more. And then let's whiz some along the top. And again, if I want it, pick it up off my mat. That does two things. It means I don't use as much ink and also it helps clean my mat. So there we go. We've gone all the way around. Now, again, you could leave it like that if you wanted, but I want to bring it another more a sort of earthy tone. So what I'm going to do is come in with the graphite. Now, I love this colour. And what I find is it'll just... Um, almost darken the the um, blue and frame it but it, what it'll do is it's not as dark as the black because I'm going to put this on a black matte and layer so I'm going to use um, a smoothie for this one of our blending tools uh, little sponges and the reason is just because I've got to be honest I haven't got a brush with grey on so I've got all my other colours my purples my I've got one for orange one for yellow one for green one for blue so but honestly, one of these is fine. But the same thing, look, I'm going to dab it and always just take a little bit off on there. Now, when I come in, I don't want to come as far. So I've got this lovely edge here with the blue. I want to almost come here so it almost stages it. And I just love this mixture. I just think when you add the grey look, if I bring that up, can you see? It's just such a lovely combination so it's the Della blue and the um, the graphite and again when I go along the edges look I'm not going to go in as far so I'm being mindful and I'm just going to whiz round and again I just get in the habit of always dabbing off and then if I want a bit more for up the side look I can pick it up off my mat so again on the corner and this card is so forgiving so you literally whiz round like this You'll be doing this in your sleep. This is such a lovely way to frame a design. And what it will do is if you frame it well, it will enhance the actual design. Now, while we've got some ink on our mat look, I'm not going to wipe this up yet. What I'm going to do is paint our berries here. So for that, I'm going to use this, the same colour, so the Della Blue going to put a little bit on my mat there the graphite and I've actually got some graphite there so I'll add a little bit more and again I just use the corner because I'm really stingy aren't I? I don't like to use too much let me check you can see and then I'm actually going to bring in some prize ribbon now a lot of people worry about mixing these I'm just going to paint with these and they're both dye based inks so they're not permanent, they move with water. So at the end of the day, when I'm mixing, it's the colours I'm after. So I love this combination of colours. So don't worry about mixing them to do your watercolour painting. And I'm going to come in with my brush. And again, that's in my water pot. So I'm going to actually add first the Della Blue. Now this is a nice light colour. And I'm just going to very quickly add a little bit of colour. Now, again, you will probably take longer. But what I want to show you is, for me, the next thing I would do is then come in with my prize ribbon, which is a darker colour. And I'm just going to add some shade look down at the base here so again at the base I want to make my berries look a bit more 3D and I can do that very quickly now 
if you're worried about the line here, can you see where we've got a line? All you do then is go back in with your, your first colour and then just go over and just blend that edge. A bit like if you're using your pencils and you're using a blender. And then to add that extra little touch, I'm going to come in with my graphite and this is going to really give me shade at the bottom and it will just help. So again, just at the bottom where I've got my shade, look. So again, I've gone in that, that rule of three and that just helps give that illusion. And then I'm just going to, nice and quickly, wipe this up. Just because if I don't, I'll end up putting my sleeve in it. So Mr. Clean Inky Binky's getting a good, he's not going to be clean after today, is he? Now I want to add a little bit of sparkle to this. So I'm going to come back with this pan pastel and... I'm just going to, mine's gone, it is a powder, do remember. Now, obviously, as I say, I dropped mine. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the powder on my mat and come back in with my paintbrush. Just mix a little bit of water with it. So again, if you haven't got any of the, this is a bit like adding the mica minerals. So if you saw the video I did the other day, we, had, we used mica minerals, didn't we, to add a bit of sheen. Well, this, you can paint with your pan pastels. So again, I've just got some powder on my mat, added some water. And what I'm going to do is just add. So where we would add highlight, quite often we use the, the pastel pencils, don't we? Or we use a gel pen. Again, it's just about showing you how you can use a different medium that you've got just to add those highlights. And then what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of shape to Pippin here. So I'm going to add his tail and a little bit of highlight on his front. Just catch his ears and then just on his nose there. Got the shape of his leg there. And I think that's really pretty. Now what I will do is I'm just going to put the lid on my pan pastel and I'm going to take my fan brush which I've got in my water pot. It's going to tap some of the water off and I'm going to pick up this pan pastel and I'm going to flick. Now I want some faux bleaching but also I might as well use the pastely water because I think it'll add some shimmer as well. Now, if you're not very keen on your blending, this is often a way, or if your blending just hasn't worked out as well as you wanted it to, this is a way of distracting from the blending. Now, I thought I'm adding, for me, I want it to look like stars and I want it to almost look like it's in the starry sky. So I'm just going to wipe up that bit of the, and again, everything just wipes up off the mat. So just with my wet cloth there, and then again, inky binky, just so we keep a nice clean space. So I want to try and show you this. As it dries, you see how it's got that shimmer to it. Now again, if you were doing um, a mail card, if you've got some stars and you wanted the moon and stars, that's a lovely, lovely way of making that, that starry sky. So if I bring in a piece of black card, just to show you how it will frame it. So there we go, Pippin under the moonlight. Now, it doesn't have to be Pippin, does it? We've got lots of other stamps that would look lovely. So I'm hoping that gives you some inspiration and I'm hoping you'll enter the challenge. Maybe if you've not entered it before, maybe that could be your New Year's resolution entering the challenge each month. 
And as I say, for me, I've left this some lovely room here that I could just add a sentiment. I mean, if I just pick up my heartfelt verses, if I take the stamps off and we just look at the acetate, look, I'm thinking birthday wishes there. So I've got, oh look, just for you, could go there. And again, that's what you send, you, you, acetate is perfect for. Even, do you know what, with love and sympathy, I think that could be a sympathy card. Because again, Pippin looking up in, into the sky where the, where the loved one, you know, we don't, unfortunately, they are cards we have to make. And I think if you can make it more personal, um, yeah. So lots of possibilities there. So I'm hoping you enjoyed that. And like I say, if you've got your pan pastels, have a go at painting with them. Have a go at adding them to your designs already. You take care, everybody. Thank you for popping in. And I'll see you again next week. Much love and hugs from me. Bye for now.